The first time I met um, Jerry, I was actually a patient in the hospital waiting um, to get the second chance for life as a heart transplant recipient. Jerry is a visitor at the hospital at the University of Minnesota, and he volunteers several days a week visiting patients that are waiting for an organ to give them a second chance at life. I'm Jerry Nelson. I'm originally from South Dakota, but I came up here when I got out of the Army in, in uh, 57. I met my wife, got married, and we had three kids. My wife passed away seven years ago, but she'd had kidney problems all her life. and That's what got me into volunteering at the U because I knew all the nurses and doctors. And my wife had two kidney transplants. Yeah, the first one was in 1984. Her uh, brother gave her the kidney because they wouldn't talk to me. <clears throat> that lasted till 1999. And I was able to give a kidney because they progressed with anti-rejection drugs. My wife uh, had to have blood. She was in the hospital, had a transfusion. So I started donating then and I've been doing it ever since. Jerry shared with me how he would, even when they were wintering in Florida, that he would drive quite a long distance to donate blood at that time. And he would search out a Red Cross location to donate blood because he knew that was important. He just casually said, well, I've donated over 60 gallons. They had to order a special pin for me because they didn't carry that type of pin. I don't consider myself a hero for giving blood. I consider transplant patients and the people that get the blood as the heroes. I think he just gets at the experience that one goes through, how much things, uh, physical procedures can affect a body, and um, he just really empathizes and listens so well and kind of will always make you feel safe and comfortable and that everything is going to be okay. There's just a magic spirit about Jerry. He has such empathy for the patients at the university. It just makes me feel good that I'm able to help someone. It's probably the best feeling I ever had.